and welcome to this video on serving food and beverages. In the last segment, we spoke all about the things to consider when taking orders from customers. In this video, we'll be talking about how to serve food and beverages that the customers have ordered. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to consider when properly serving is provide the collect glassware, serviceware, and cutlery suitable for menu choices and in accordance with standard operating procedures. It will be unprofessional to serve other items in the wrong glassware or to give the wrong cutlery. Imagine accidentally giving a fork for a soup item. Next, after placing the collect glass and silverware, carry out all work with accordance with occupation, health and safety requirements. Make sure that you're properly wearing a mask when you need to and are curling items in a professional way to avoid breaks or injuries. But before you serve anything, the first thing you need to do is to check the quality and presentation of the food and beverages in accordance with standard operating procedures. Make sure that everything is presented really well and everything is hygienic as well. Speaking on presentation, you need also to check the service where like plates, cups and trays, chips, mugs, spills and drips. You want to make sure you don't close contaminate any food or cause anything to slip and fall. The other thing you need to consider is to collect all the food and beverages selections promptly with service areas and send them to customers safely. If you wait for a food and beverages to sit for too long and it becomes either too cold or too warm for the customer, it could ruin the entire experience for them. Imagine being served cold chips because they stood in the kitchen for too long. To make sure you avoid that, the next thing to do is to monitor the flow of service for meals and beverage delivery. Customers will complain if they notice that others who had arrived later than them have been served their meal faster. Always keep the track of the time and whose order should go out first. The FIFO, fast in, fast out method should be applied. Next, if you see that there is something wrong with order, like it's delayed or has deficiencies, recognize it and follow up promptly. Avoid trying to fix it without communicating it or hoping that it would just not get noticed. Now, we have spoken about various key concepts. Before moving on to the next video, take some time to reflect on the topics and we'll be introduced to the new concepts in the next video.